Okay, Starsky and Hutch, the 21st century environmental explorers are off and out again. Now, I'm just making this video because I want to try and clear something up. Now, I've been to 700 schools in the last 13 years to talk about the environment. I put a picture up, yes, on my Facebook, because there's one school in the classroom of 30 children, there's 14 plastic bottles. Okay, and the picture will show you that, but in the background shows you a good, clean, sink. Now as you can see we're in a mountainous area, a beautiful part of the world, a very small population. That water comes out of that tap, it's where the best you'll find in Europe probably, I don't know what I'd like to say, but it's, it's trust me, I don't think you'd have to really test it to, to see how healthy it is. It's good, fresh, cool, healthy water. So why do they have to have these plastic bottles in the school? Now these children are not from a poor family, they're from very wealthy families. So I'm sure their parents could afford a stainless steel flask if they really needed to. Or even better still, just a stainless steel cup they could take with them wherever they want to go. All the classrooms in that school had sinks. Uh, so there's no excuse, you could always find water. Now, the point I'm trying to make is that now the young generation, even Old generation have come now addicted to walking around with a bottle of plastic water or even a water bottle. We've become addicted to it, it's become a habit, basically. Because I was talking to the children about it, well, not children, they're young adults, they were 16, 17 years of age. And I said, all the dangers of the plastic and everything else, and, why it is, and three of them had BPA in it, which is actually banned in Europe, so I don't know how they managed to buy them or where they get them from. I wouldn't be surprised if Western Europe they just throw them all over to the eastern side of Europe and doesn't say anything. But they're actually banned and forbidden to be sold or for anybody to be using them, really, for anything that's got anything liquid in it or anything that has food in it. Because there's a lot of packaging that still has BPA in it. It's, it's, it's actually meant to be banned in Europe. So I told them all about this and everything else. And I left them on the table. And at the end, I just said to them, if you were... Want to take your bottles away? There you are. And they all went. So, I mean, it's just unbelievable that you, you try to teach them, you try to explain to them, and they couldn't let go of a simple plastic bottle. Just let it go. Forget it, it's not good for you. No, they couldn't do it. And that's people, they can't let go of things. Even when it's bad for you, they just can't let go of it. And I says, one girl came back to the sink, filled up a bottle. She said, What did I say to you? She just said, I don't care. Why should I care? I think well, there's something wrong when we've got adults or young adults with that feeling. But it's incredible, it really, is the way we're teaching, educating the young generation. You're not giving them a chance, even, really. You know, we have to change the whole way of our whole systems. It's out of date, it doesn't work, and it's just ridiculous. So, to try and sort the climate problem, we need to sort ourselves out really, the next generation, if there's got any hope for them, because there isn't, there's just nothing if you start looking around and see what's going on and their attitude, it's unbelievable I mean, just look at it we're five minutes away from that school and look at all this we're going to be better if we tried, you know and we're forecasting rain for the next five, six days, so you know, they, they've got it really good here look. so why the hell we were told to reduce, reduce. I don't see them reducing it, do you? And I said, the longer you use a bottle, the worse it is. The more the toxins will go in the water. And just a simple thing like a stainless steel mug. I think it was the sink any time they want. Just put what they need in the mug, drink it, put it down. I don't think any teacher in the world would say no to a child if they want to go to the sink and get some water. And, you know, that's simple as that. Go and fill up. You okay? So we've got our own little private lane here. Eh? Oh, it couldn't get much better if you tried. 